live, please let us know where you're calling from, where you're watching from, and say hi to us because, you know, we're lonely out here. <laughs> no, we're not. Um, so today I wanted to update you on what's happening with my hair. Just, um, I know some of you wanted to um, do the experiment with me. Uh, I shared it in a couple of lives, the recipe for the hair growth or hair replenishment um, a couple of lives ago. And um, I have to say uh, before, like my hair was really long, probably th three times this length. And I was losing um, like handfuls, um, Chris, like what would you say, two handfuls every time I washed and brushed my hair out. Um, and then just to give you some kind of perspective, when I squashed up, you know, rolled it out into a ball, rolled it up into a ball, it was about the size of a golf ball. So that's compact. And now uh, the hair that I'm losing is about the size of a pea. So obviously squashed up. It's, thank you, I, I saved my little thing, but that's all, let me squash it up, that's all I lost this time. I am just blown away. So now, now my, now that my hair, my hair stopped falling out, so imagine this, I had this long hair little bit of long hair and then all these flyaways which you know within reason everybody has flyaways right but I had like a halo <laughs> a halo of hair that I used to use product just to you know smooth it down and um, so now I've, so at that stage I had all lengths of hair because as it would fall out it would regrow and then other hair would fall out blah 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 um, so now my plan is to now that I know my hair stopped falling out essentially um, my plan is to keep it at this length and let all that hair that is now still flyaways grow to this length and then I'll grow my hair again so I mean maybe it'll take another year because from here to here that's a lot of length so if you have any questions, do let me know in the comments. Um, I'm willing to give you the recipe again. And at this point, I'm, I'm actually not sure if I should share it with anybody else uh, because um, it's still early stages, number one. And number two is um, what if we go into production with it? Hmm. So you're special you get my recipe <laughs> uh, anyway so the other thing that's the update on the hair the other thing we're doing is i had a crazy idea <laughs> you all right i uh, just uh, before you went on the next one i was just going to say hi to everybody yes because, please uh, please do they're all the gang's all here and they're all checking out marzi mars is here uh, uh, hello <laughs> uh, ella is here oh ella you made it <laughs> Deborah Robinson says hello. And Hi, hello. Deborah. Judy Duran is Duran. here. Yes, Judy. Oh, Judy. Jodell Field says thank you for the bread recipe. I'll let oh, you know yeah. how it turns out. You're welcome, Jodell. I hope it turns out good. <laughs> and that's it for now. Stay that's tuned. it for now. Just interrupt me when you're, whenever you feel free. So, um... I've been thinking up things to do on a Friday, High Fat Friday, right? We've got the mug recipes on Monday sorted. Wednesday is um, wide up Wednesday, so we do anything with the plug. I've got so many recipes and also things that you guys are asking me for. I can't post fast enough. <laughs> But on a Friday, I'm really enjoying the lives for, you know, the last video of the week. And um, I was thinking of doing a compilation of this is how my brain works and how I came up with the idea for this recipe, which is cauliflower pasta. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work yet, uh, but... Um, 
So I was thinking of cauliflower rice recipes. Um, you can't just, you're not gonna enjoy cauliflower rice if you just, you know, cook it and do it with salt. It's gonna taste like cauliflower, not like anything else. But anyway, some people do and they're fine. Um, but I was thinking up of um, herbs and spices that you can add for different dishes. And then I watched Dr. Berg and he was talking about cauliflower pasta. That's this, I think his video was four years old, so it's a long time ago. Um, and I thought, okay, so we have cauliflower pizza, we have cauliflower rice, we have cauliflower this, cauliflower that. We don't have cauliflower pasta. So that, that's how I came up with this crazy idea. So um, now what I do then is think up, do I have a recipe that might work with a substitution? And um, the, the million are viral, um, tortilla recipe made with powdered cheese or finely grated cheese. That one happened by accident as well and very similar to this. I was making that pasta with almond flour before and uh, somebody said to me, I have a nut allergy, could you please help me? I want to make this pasta um, and it's going to be my go-to. Um, and there's other people in my family who have nut allergies as well. So I thought it was totally worth, you know, um, coming up with the recipe for this person's family. And um, I spotted, I spotted powdered finely grated cheese at Costco. If you can avoid Costco's powdered cheese, it's loaded with flour and carbs. But anyway, that was the first one. I, I did since um, find an alternative, but a better alternative, but I used that to experiment. And um, because the finely grated cheese had the consistency of the almond flour, um, it worked. And I posted it about six months before I posted it as a short. Nothing happened, hardly anybody viewed it. And I thought, I said to Chris, you know what? This recipe is golden. So that's how that video happened. So we are doing the same thing here. In this little one cup, I'm using one cup of cauliflower rice. As you can imagine, it smells like feet in here. <laughs> So I am just going to soften this because I'm going to try and minimize um, my pasta looking lumpy. Um, so I want to soften this a little bit. So I'll cook this in the microwave for one minute. While that's going, uh, Jackie Churchum says hello from Canada. Hello, Jackie. <laughs> Uh, DS, Canada. sorry, don't know your name, DS. Uh, the minute I started using castor oil shampoo and conditioner from TJ May, I think that's TJ Max, uh, my hair immediately stopped falling out. Apparently, yes, I've heard about castor oil. Um, some people also talk about coconut oil, but there again, coconut oil has mixed reviews. Um, I went... I can't remember why I was quite tempted to do castor oil as well. However, I wanted to keep things really simple and um, I'm sure that you could use castor oil, you know, if you don't want to use one of the others. But I, I believe for my, for my success, bergamot extract is the bomb.com. I think I wouldn't substitute bergamot e extract. So, thank you. <laughs> uh, Michael Root says, hi Mel, your hair looks great. Hello Michael, hello Paula. JC Wedmack says, hi from uh, Ontario, Canada. Oh, hello JC. Uh, Marzi Mars says, 40 viewers and only 11 likes. Let's hit that like button. I couldn't agree more with you. We're up to 20 likes, Marzi. So we're getting there, thanks mate. But then we, we also changed the time and we gave late notice. So I understand and people will catch up, you know, when, when they get to it. 
Joanne Hine says, Hi Mel. Hello Joanne. So glad to catch a live of you from Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. Thanks for the heads up yesterday. Oh. And Ella says, with or without water Mel? Uh, no, no, without water. So all I did was defrost the cauliflower and rice. And um, I'm going to try my best to get rid of any moisture. <coughs> I'm just going to go again because it still feels a bit hard. They've been for one minute and I'm going to do another minute. <coughs> I know. Stinky. Chris is going. Whew, whew. Why didn't you come say hi? No. He says he's not dressed for the occasion. Um, I, when I take, <coughs> when I take my cauliflower rice out of the microwave, um, I am going to let it cool a bit, but also I'm going to, you can use a cheesecloth, but I have a very, this tea towel, or what do you call, it's a tea, tea towel, isn't it? Do you call it a tea towel? <laughs> anyway, things I wipe my dishes, I dry my dishes with, um, this is very thin and the water will pass through, so I'm going to pop it into, pop the cauliflower rice into here and I'm going to squeeze that moisture out. So. Fingers crossed. <laughs> and this Darby says, I have hair loss when I first began keto, and I think that's something that a lot of people have. Where's yep. your microphone gone? I went down the. <gasps> right here. This is this is not planned. <laughs> Uh, blame you, Christopher. You didn't do your job properly. <laughs> now, Michael Cuomo says, love the simplicity of how you do things. When I get my own kitchen, I'll be using many, many of your recipes. Thank you so much, Michael. Uh, Camille Medina says, hi Mel, another great idea. Your beautiful any hairstyle outside and inside. Oh, thank you, doll. Judy says, you call it a dish towel. Oh, dish towel. There you go. That's good enough for me. Frida says, hello from Berlin, Germany. Hello, Frida. <laughs> Yes, says, thank you for reading my comment. Give it a try. Castor oil, shampoo, and conditioner. It feels so, so good on scalp along with your cure. Thanks again. Great video. I think I might, uh, yeah, th putting it in the shampoo is pretty good. So what I'm doing, just sorry, back to the, the hair conversation. DS, this is your fault for us deviating. <laughs> it's also my fault because Joanne just backed up. Judian said, yes, it's a dish towel. Oh, right. Okay, right. Um, so, back to the hair. So, all I'm doing at the moment is, um, I, I'll get it for you. I have to say hi to Joanne because she said hi to me. Hi, Joanne. Hello, Joanne. So, this is what my mixture looks like. Obviously, it was full. Um, you can see that I have been very faithfully using it. I use it once a week. Um, and leave it on my, I spray my scalp. So I do my parts, I, I part uh, my hair um, and spray my scalp and then I mas massage it in and sit, let it sit for half an hour and then I wash my hair as normal and style it. Um, uh, Syl Silvana says hello from Switzerland. Oh, Switzerland. And Marzi Mars said that we need to send me in, Chris in, to retrieve the microphone. And Dia says she's so sorry. Oh, he's so sorry. <laughs> oh, no problem. Denise um, Harden, hello from Louisiana. Hello, Denise. And um, the other thing, your shampoo and condition is actually really important. Um, you might not realize, but not all shampoo is great for your hair, for our hair. Um, some of the some of the shampoos strip your hair and. Um, you want to get a shampoo that is free from sulfates. I have been using Redken products for 30 years now. I know when I turned 20, I treated myself to starting uh, Redken. I used to use the Moisture Replenisher, which is a blue one. Chris, would you mind getting my shampoo and conditioner, please? You're not 50, by the way. I know I'm not 50. You said you've been using it for 30 years, 20 plus 30 is 50. Okay, I'm two years short. Jeez. Um, 
Yes, so I've been, if you don't know like where to start looking and you do find that your, um, your shampoo and conditioner has got chemicals in it, sulfates, sulfates is the bad one, um, and you don't know where to start, try a vegan or a vegan uh, line. That's really good. Um, I have tried, oh, I have tried a few. I wish I had the camera. <laughs> He's crawling on the floor. You weirdo. <laughs> because my shampoo and conditioner is in the other bathroom. <laughs> anyway, um, the one bathroom has a shower and the one has a bath. So, um, so I, I st this is how we set up like the fun shots Stop in the that. videos. Just get up. <laughs> what is wrong with you? So I used to use a blue one because I have, I have curly uh, hair that's prone to split ends and um, dry a uh, dry in the front. So I used to use this moisture replenishing one, which was blue. And since my hair has been falling out, I changed to a volumizing one. It is so good. I highly recommend it. Years and years of experience using it. So I'm going to move that away. And my cauliflower rice was cooling, as you <laughs> noticed. And now I'm just going to pour that in to my dish towel. Who's laughing at me? Uh, Joanne says, oh my goodness, thanks for that tip. Amazing shine. Oh, yeah. oh uh, right. Ray Bath says tea towel in Canada. Tea towel. Joanne is laughing her head off. So is Denise. <laughs> it's, it's because you're crawling on the floor like a weirdo. Oh, I'm out of breath now. <laughs> uh, Christiane Fisk says, oh, Christiane. Uh, will Adam's family hand thing be making an appearance? <laughs> He's already done it. He was waving from down here. <laughs> uh, although for hair growth, maybe cousin it might need to join. Big howdy for Oh, the thing. Isn't he the ball guy? No, no, he's Festus. Ow. You can use a cheesecloth too. Yes, cheesecloth. Michael Kuomo says, I've been using Young Living Shampoo and Conditioner nice. as it has essential oils, not harmful chemicals. Nice. Thank you for that. Uh, N.M. Statkiewicz. Yep. Uh, with love from Switzerland. Oh, Marzi says the image is blurry. Might just be the connection. Why is the image? Fine at my end. Not blurry, says Judy. Oh. <laughs> and Jodel is also laughing at him. Marzi, Marzi, you need a new phone, bro. <laughs> yeah, Jodel's laughing and DS is also laughing. He says, I thought he was your dog at first. I, I, I don't even know how to respond to that. But anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Jodel also thought I was the dog. Anyways. Because I basically moved like this and I looked at, in genuine confusion at what the <laughs> hell were you doing? I don't worry, the, the dog looked confused when I got to the other end too. All right. All right. Okay. Ah, oh, no. I should put this. Shouldn't I put this straight? I should put this straight in the blender. Yes. Is it cold yet? Yes. I love how you're having a conversation with yourself about this. <laughs> this is what I do. <laughs> oh, I was in um, Kmart the other day. It's like a Walmart. Uh, this is about two weeks ago. And what was I? I was looking for some more storage solutions for the pantry. And I was caught. This woman came right up up next to me and she says you know I do that as well I didn't realize that I was having this conversation with myself about what makes more logical sense this or that <laughs> and I thought 
oh my god mel you sound insane <laughs> so i've hmm. been telling you this for years i'm in good company thank you very much okay so first i'm gonna try uh blending this just as it is It doesn't look like one cup anymore. We'll see when I mix everything up. I guess the Nutribullet is going to do that. That's all it's going to do for me, which is nothing. <clears throat> Frida says, do you... Do you need better shampoo to be brave enough to show your head? In what context? I think she must mean me crawling around. <laughs> <laughs> no, we already have one movie star in the family. Uh, David Motobi says... Oh, Hi. hello David! Hello David, is your wife here? Sorry. Uh, you, you, can, you can read his co comment now. <laughs> He says, hi Mel, I uh, just got here and I was like, is she making a nut milk? What happened to the collie pasta? Uh, why is everyone laughing their heads off? Because he doesn't want to be on camera. And then he sticks up his random hand to say hi. And then people lost it because they were, they were teasing, you know, like that Adam's family hand. Anyway. Okay, so the neutral bullet is a no-go. Right. Um, Christiane says she's a Gemini. Always talk and argue with myself. Sometimes I even win. <laughs> I, I, I hear you. <laughs> okay, so let's do half teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon. And a one teaspoon. Oh, look at that. So, into Oh, it's, it's not David, it's actually David's wife. Oh, hello! <laughs> you need your own YouTube account so you and I can chat. <laughs> um, half teaspoon, I know Ella's taking notes and look how much we deviate. It's very naughty. Half teaspoon of baking powder. Where's my baking powder? Half teaspoon of baking powder. In it goes. Half teaspoon of gelatin powder. And I'm going to sprinkle that because... It's like glue. Lisa is asking if the nutrition, if the neutral bullet won't work, then try an immersion blender, possibly. Immersion blender. Oh, immersion, sorry. <laughs> you speak good England? <laughs> English is my second language. Don't make fun of me. It's not your second language. Okay, one teaspoon of xanthan gum. Sharon Solomon says, hi Mel, from a frosty upstate New York. Hello Sharon. Oh yes. How's the weather? Yeah, the news said you guys were getting what bashed we... over there. Yes, and there was hell in mm. LA and... Oh, crazy. And one egg white. One egg white. <clears throat> okay. Sharon said they had an ice storm. Ice uh, storm. DS asked, what was the glue like ingredient? Oh, okay. So we did 
Let me just get read this out for you again. So we did a cup of cauliflower rice drained as much as you can out of the water and softened in the microwave and it went for two minutes on a 700 watt microwave. Um, and then we did a half teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of gelatin powder, one teaspoon of xanthan gum and one egg white. And for the last ingredient, because I like my pasta a little bit yellow, but you might not. It's gonna be a pretty white pasta. So I'm just doing like a little pinch, but I'm not prepared to touch this and have my fingers go yellow again. Hello Mel from Alberta, Canada. That's Sean. Am I right? Karen says I had ice on the trees that weighed 70 pounds. Oh my god. And uh, David's wife uh, is actually called Bonnie and she says I'm watching from Dave's phone. Her battery's low and they're struggling with the power cuts in SA. Oh right. Okay. Yep, it is Sean. Sean Bond. 007. He's a, he's a Scorpio, that's why he's Mr. Scorpio. No, he said last time he's 007. He's 007. No, he said I'm double. I don't think I'm, anybody... I'm, I'm showing my blonde roots. Oh, no. No offense to blondes. So now, this is pretty mushy for me. Yes, has never heard of that third ingredient. Third ingredient, it's the gelatin powder. Gelatin powder. Gelatin powder, gelatin powder will be in your baking aisle. The baking aisle of any grocery store. So, I want to show, can you please have a look at the camera because I do want to show the consistency of this um, thing this pasta, which isn't really pasta yet. Can I? What do you want me to I do? want to come forward to the camera. Yep. Okay. So, right now... Uh, hold on. Come closer. That is just far too sticky for me. Far too sticky. And... I know what's going to dry it out, right? It's going to be either flaxseed meal or psyllium husk. And I think I'm going to go with a sprinkle of flaxseed meal because psyllium husk is going to darken this pasta up. And I don't like brown pasta. Well, I like it kind of like a creamy color, but it mustn't be that brown pasta because I find it actually quite off-putting, you know, when you're eating... You eat with your eyes first, don't you? So, um, could you get me the psyllium husk powder? What happened? Uh, DS says yes, uh, use, she uses gelatin powder, just didn't care you right. Oh, right, okay. I'm assuming it's a she. You need to tell us your name, DS. So um, now I'm just trying to mesh psyllium husk powder. Oh no, flaxseed meal. You're going to do the hand thing. Who had a good laugh at you the last time? <laughs> the creepy hand coming through. So, uh, now I'm going to measure this because I want, I want, um, I want you guys to now have the exact measurements. A quarter teaspoon. Let's try that. No. So for me, when I develop a recipe, it is so much trial and error. When I uh, develop a bread recipe, there are times when I bake 14, 15 loaves of bread. And if it doesn't come out right, like I'll tell you a fun story. I've been trying to make challah bread, keto challah bread for a year. 
a whole year. And um, if I've baked 20 loaves, I think that might be even too little. Because I'll, I'll go through this phase and bake 10 loaves. And none, my issue with the challah bread is I want it to be able to braid and not, it mustn't tear. I want it to, you know, hold its shape. And um, some of them have just been too, uh, too soft, not flexible enough, blah, blah, blah. So, okay, this needs more. So I'm going to go again. Marzi Mars has sent a $10 super thanks. Thank you so much, Marzi Mars. It says, guys and girls, please remember to hit your like, share, and send a super thanks whenever possible. It assists the channel and this very worthy dynamic duo. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, this is looking a little less wet, but it's to me it's just far too wet. JC says you are really appreciated, Mel. Ah. <clears throat> uh, and everyone's calling me thing. <laughs> <laughs> thing. It's gonna become a new name. I need to be careful. So now in total, I've added one whole teaspoon of flaxseed meal. I was still talking about, yeah, developing, developing recipes is just this. You throw things together, you see if it works. If it doesn't work, you add what you think will work, as in you make adjustments, and you just keep making those adjustments, and sometimes if it never comes right, you have to go completely back to the drawing board. It's, it's a good idea, well, I found it a good idea to get inspiration from other people and, you know, see what they've done, like uh, other people's recipe. Not, um, you could, so it starts with an idea or you go and you say you get a recipe off a website and you bake, let's call it bread, and the bread doesn't taste like you don't like the bread. So then uh, what I've done in the past is I would, I would say, okay, this bread, this is happening with this bread, how can I fix it? So. At times I would change so many things that, <laughs> that it ends up being my bread. <laughs> Camille Medina says, California, I see you in focus just fine. It's Mazi Maza's phone then. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Camille. I hope you guys, oh, I hope, because uh, I heard 43,000 anim aquatic animals have died. Wow. I think because flaxseed meal needs a minute to absorb the moisture, I'm going to let this rest a bit. And I think we're also going to need salt because it's cauliflower, right? So. Oh. Okay. Uh, Camille says Lucky or Kmart's went out of business some years ago. Okay. Must just be in the I would love it if we could have a. I'd be in Walmart every day <laughs> if we had a Walmart here. <laughs> it's just like for us, Costco is like, yay, we can get um, the products that you guys use. Yeah, Costco's bad enough. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Scorpion says no throwing, uh, no throwing mixed things unless it's a food fight. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Italian girls just got on this live. Can you recap on what's happening? Oh, okay. So we <clears throat> welcome. <laughs> we um, are doing an experiment on hair replenishment because a common symptom is on the keto diet, we lose our hair. 
um, and, and it's due to lack of nutrients um, that we would normally get um, from the food that we were consuming before. Um, and now we don't, we've changed our diet. So, um, so we're doing a hair experiment. I updated everybody on how that experiment for me is going and it's going good. <laughs> and um, now we are, I'm showing everybody how I dream up a recipe. Um, all the problems, well, not all the problems I face, but the challenges. The challenges. <laughs> <laughs> the challenges that I go through um, coming up with with a recipe and look sometimes I just get lucky and it works isn't it Chris uh, the brownies recent uh, um, uh, recipe that I just did um, we posted a short yesterday um, just dreamed up the recipe and it came together and it was like, oh my God, these are better than store-bought carb-loaded brownies that we used to have. So, Mr. Scorpio is out. Take care now. Okay, Sean, see you. Thank you for coming. Okay, so. Just try and need a paper towel now. Okay, I'm gonna move this away. Could you please give me the baking paper? I think I'm gonna forge ahead with this and see if it's really unworkable. Um, yeah, and see if it just seems so sticky to me, but anyway, thank you. Do a quarter of an inch. Judy Farm, Judy's Test Kitchen bought me this. Thank you so much, Judy. But I'm going to use it today, so we'll see um, how to see how this. I can't even call it pasta yet. <laughs> how this dough <laughs> performs, but I think with a bit of more work. I think this could work. We, uh, I'm, I'm thinking probably less moisture in is the problem. Well, moist, too much moisture is the problem because it's quite sticky now. So we'll see. Camille says she lives in LA. We were under a flash flood. Stay inside, no travel warnings yesterday until 10 p.m. Okay. Uh, David, oh no, it's Bonnie. <laughs> Dave has told about the rosemary oil, been using it on my girls for years, works wonders. It's a family Wonderful. secret. My mom used it for her and her mom. Oh wow, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> Marzi Mars says, I refreshed my browser and it was sorted immediately, so my phone lives on for a little while longer. <laughs> okay. Let's fish it out. No. I don't think this is going to be... <laughs> I don't think this is going to be workable. Sticking. Oh, I think it's com going to completely stick to this paper. I'm just going to see. Yeah, no. Maybe a new pizza crust. I think a new pizza crust. It could be a new pizza crust, but that's not what we're trying to do here. Mini cauliflower crust. <laughs> pizza crust exists. 
So that's what it's doing to the paper. Not happy with that. Yeah, so I was hoping we'd have some success today, but it's not one of those days. <laughs> oh man. But um, can you get the, the buns, bio buns uh, out of the freezer? I don't know what that is. We, bu we bought it today. You put the things away. No, I didn't. You. I believe it's next to the bread in the other freezer, which is where you put it, because I happen to go in there. I'm not responsible. We're having domestics. Um, so on Monday, we've got a mug recipe. I'm going to give up with this for now. So watch the space. I'm going to come up with something better than this, I feel. Um, it was next to the bread where I put it. David asked me to make bail buns. So I have bought the carb loaded one. This is not, this is not keto, please. Um, how many carbs is it? 17, not bad if you are low carb, but not okay for keto. So I'm, I need to taste what they are like. And I think I'm going to present a recipe for bail buns next week, Friday. On Wednesday, though, I believe this is not a popular cereal uh, in America, but just Google it. It is so popular everywhere else. I grew up on it. On it. That's how old it is. It's wheat bix. So I'm going to make a keto wheat bix which I believe does not exist. So that's going to be real good. Joxy says, hello, Mel. Uh, she's Joxie. tried a flour recipe and she's noted it in the comments here. It's amazing, almost tastes and acts like real flour. So she's given you all the measurements too. I won't read them all out, but... What flour? Uh, Marzi Mars has sent another $10 and says, food fight, food fight count me in. <clears throat> I love your brownie recipe. It's been rocking my kitchen for the past few days. Oh, and, loves it. and your pics are amazing. Uh, JC says, less gelatin and or drier cauliflower, question mark. I don't think less gelatin because um, there's no gluten in this. You need the binding agents. Um, so your egg, everything else that goes with that cauliflower is binding it together. So I think a drier cauliflower. And my question is, if we roasted cauliflower rice, say maybe 10, 15 minutes, would we have success? So in, if you have dried cauliflower rice and you uh, grind it down, it's going to be the consistency of almond flour because then it's still hard, right? Which is like the powdered cheese. Finely ground and hard, which in essence, I think that will work. Yeah. So I'm going to try it first and I'll present it in a video. Please keep a look out for it because I know you guys, um, you know, cauliflower is so versatile and it's nice if you could make pasta with it, I think. So... Uh, David says, oh, sorry, Bonnie, Fine. says, uh, Bayo buns, bao buns. Me and my family are obsessed with Asian flavors. Cannot wait. Thanks, Mel. No worries, Bonnie. Uh, you should check out some of my keto Asian dishes as well. It's in the, what did we call the playlist? Lunches and dinners. I think so. I think so. There's all sorts there. Um, bang bang chicken. All, all sorts and noodles and 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 anyway jessica says omg keto wheat bix would be awesome Mel, yes, please. Uh, lovely jessica i can't wait to show you <laughs> anyway so that will be all for today and i hope you have a lovely day or night um we're gonna schedule another live um but 
we will not be trying out another recipe just because uh, I'd like for you to go away with something. <laughs> I'm going to do a recipe that I know has already been developed and I've tried it out and um, we might do some other fun things. Um, so I hope you have a lovely day and night and we will see you on Monday. Ciao! <laughs>